So in this tutorial I'm going to explain how I create VFX breakdowns so that you can flex with your 3D scenes and show off all of the complex layers in your VFX process. Let's take this scene here I created for example. First of all you want to duplicate your blend file and rename it breakdown. Now in the scene select all of your assets, jump forward in the timeline, hit I and add in a location keyframe for all of the objects. Now go back to the first frame and move all of the objects out of frame. Then add another keyframe for the location. Now all of the assets of your scene are just dropping into the frame, which is pretty boring. So to make this more interesting we're going to shift around some keyframes. I also wanted the ground to appear from below and not from above. So I went to the first keyframe and moved it below the frame. Because I wanted the ground to be one of the first objects that is going to appear in the scene, I shortened the timing of the keyframes. Next I wanted the objects that are further in the back to appear first, so that the scene would build itself from back to front. So I selected the two mountains and shortened their timing so they would appear after the ground. Then I selected the next layer of objects and just repeated this process. I always offset the animation of the individual objects to create more randomized movement. Then you just have to repeat this process for all of the assets in your scene. And there you got it, a cool breakdown animation of your 3D scene. If you want to know how I created these procedural volumetric clouds, you can watch this tutorial here. Or you can get my sky shaders that allow you to create literally an infinite amount of cloud shapes. With easy controllable sliders that allow you to finally have control over the sky. Now you can render this as it is with the final lighting and materials and everything. Or you can render it as a ambient occlusion pass or a clay render. To render a ambient occlusion pass, go to the layer properties and activate the ambient occlusion pass. And in the compositor just plug the ambient occlusion into the compositor output image. This can speed up your render time, but in my case I wanted to render it with the final shading. After I rendered everything as a EXR sequence I just drag and drop it into the Vich Resolve and converted the gamma values back to normal with my free EXR LUT. A link to it is in the description. Then I take the final version of the shot and drag it next to our breakdown and edit a cross dissolve with a right click between the two clips. Then I split the clip of the final shot into two with Ctrl B and in the first half of it I would remove all of the color grading except the ReXR conversion to show another step of the process and to transition to the color graded version I use the edge wipe effect and change the angle to 90 degrees. And after all of this, this is our final VFX breakdown of the scene. And now I show you how you create a VFX breakdown for a compositing shot in Fusion like this one here. First of all we want to split a clip again with Ctrl B and then go into the Fusion composition. In here take the media output node and disconnect it from the node tree. Then go all the way back to the first node which is the original green screen shot and plug it in the media output. Then go to the color tab and turn off all of the grading with Alt D. Now we have the first clip of our breakdown. Then add another cut to the final VFX shot. And this time in Fusion I'm going to connect uh, nodes that show the green screen keying result into the media output. And also turn off the color grading for this one. And then just continue like this to show the different steps of creating the VFX shot. In the next step I'm going to add in the background. But I'm going to turn off some of the elements like the mist pass to show them as an individual step in the next clip. Then I'm going to add another cut and turn on these elements this time. And then I'm going to put the media out at the end of the node tree where it belonged to get back to the final result. You can also create different breakdown steps for all of the color grading you did on the shot. Just split the VFX shot into smaller pieces and turn off different nodes for each of the clips. To finally transition between each of the clips, add in a edge wipe effect. Set it to 90 degrees again and you can duplicate the transition to all of the other cuts if you hit Alt and drag them to the next split. And here we got our finished VFX breakdown. If you want to know how I create a VFX green screen shot like this, I have a series on Patreon how I created this shot here with a bunch of other project files and tutorials. The tutorials over there are a lot more slower and detailed.